Hello, Elise here. Welcome back to my channel and looky what I have. It's my second ever witch's bounty box and you guys it is so light it's almost weird. Like my last witch's moon box which I will link up in the cards below. Up below? I will link in the cards up in the corner my witch's moon for july and that one was so heavy but that one had well i'll let you watch the video and find out <laughs> but this one feels so light and it smells good but my boxes from the witch's moon always smell really good so if you are not familiar with the witch's moon i will have a link to them down below they have three subscription boxes currently that you can sign up for if you are either U.S., Canada, or international. Um, and they have the Witch's Moon, which is kind of like a ritual witchy box that has lots of different items that you can use, usually a crystal and oil, incense, all this stuff. They have the Witch's Bounty, which is this one, which usually includes some sacred adornments, some jewelry. And then they also have the Witch's Roots box, which is an herbal-based box, and I believe is their most affordable. If you can hear my doggos going crazy in the background, it is because they recently had a bath, which you may remember if you watched Self Worth Saturday. Um, so they're going a little nuts. They're having a good time. They're trying to um, wrestle. So this should be interesting. <laughs> anyway, I really want to get into this, so I'm not going to wait because I'm excited. So I'm going to open it up and we're going to see what's inside. This has been so far the most exciting thing ever. I'm really stoked to see what's in this month's box. So this is what it looks like when I open it. No spoilers yet, woohoo! Um, so you get a parchment with a little cord which I'm going to slip off. And I'm gonna try not to peek besides to read the little intro so I usually fold it over so that I can't see what is in it. <laughs> and the theme of this month's box is called The Open Gate. Among the many thoughts and emotions that flow through us each day, there are few that tend to open us to a more spiritual and transformative space. These moments are what can change the direction of our lives. As we continue to work towards a more aware and expansive existence, we rely on our ability to connect to spiritual and celestial energies. These revelations tend to wait for us on the other side of our ego and selfish thoughts, not realizing that worry and anxiety are the blockages that hold us in the same place not allowing us to step into a divine state. Ooh. We have carefully chosen and curated the items within this, this collection to assist you in finding moments that bring you to the open gate. Oh, I love how expansive that feels. Like, just opening yourself up and breaking past blockages and, oh, totally my jam. So we have a gorgeous artwork, which is probably a little bit of a spoiler to what's inside, so I'm not gonna read it. If you can read it, then more power to you, but. Um, it's beautiful. I love the soft colors. It's so pretty. Someday, I think what I'm going to do is actually pick up a large parchment-based Book of Shadows so that I can glue a lot of these into it, but we'll see. We'll see. So far, my Book of Shadows is more of like an expanding file folder that I can file things in and pull them out whenever I want, and that's been working. So I've lifted that up. I've got this paper, and inside, this is what I see. I'm sorry for the sing-song voice. I do legitimately get excited. <laughs> Then I turn into a big dork. So we always get with each box one of these really stretchy, lovely um, silicone, I think they're based silicone based stretchy cords. They have a little um, fastener at the end, which I believe is, see if it'll focus, there we go. Um, I believe it does is metal in there, but because the metal gets covered up, this is really great if like me, you have very, very, very sensitive skin um, so I can't have metal clasps or anything the chain that I wear around my neck is a titanium cord which is hypoallergenic and this is actually a pendant I got in a witch's moon box and it is nickel free pewter so that was a little bit of a sidetrack but I get very excited about things that are metal free or nickel free because of my intense uh, reaction to those metals but you get these stretchy cords and they're actually a pretty decent like length like, that's a pretty decent length so anyways, we get one of those. I'm gonna open the jewelry last because that's how I roll. So the first thing I've touched is a paper wrapped roll here and this looks like it's going to be our spell candle. So every month they include a hand rolled beeswax spell candle that apparently I cannot open without slowly unwrapping it like a piece of candy. What is even happening right now? Why is this so hard? Why though? I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I believe in myself. I mean, this paper's gonna be utterly shredded by the time I'm through, but that's okay. 
That's okay. I will still persevere. Ah, yes. Okay, I was able to unroll it. Oh, look. I don't know if you can see just how glittery and sparkly that is, but it is beautiful. I love these white candles. And these little short guys actually still burn for a decent amount of time, which I, I think is more related to their width than their, like obviously the length matters too. What am I even saying? I don't know. I like it. It's pretty and it's sparkly. <laughs> All right, let's see what else we've got in here. Ooh, so there's some incense. I'm gonna pull that out because that's what my, uh-oh, Peggy was teasing me in the last video about how the little crinkle papers go everywhere. She wasn't lying. I keep dropping these little guys. Ooh, this month's incense has like a really woodsy smell, like, it smells like nature. I will read about that in a little bit here once I've gotten into the stuff so I don't spoil things for myself. Oh, oh, more crinklies going. After. These crinklies like to, they really do like to travel. Okay, next, bubble wrap, which usually means an oil, which is very exciting. Okay, let's get this bad boy open. Usually it's got like a little sticky at the end and then you can just like unroll it and there's like a little bag. So, ooh, it says expansion, expansion. Let's see what this one smells like. Oh, that smells... It smells like herbal, but in a less... When I say people... When I hear people say that something smells herbal, I always expect it to smell kind of like... green? This doesn't smell green. It's, it smells almost like it's got a hint of mint in it. Um, but it smells more, it smells earthy without being that earthy dirt smell. You know what I mean? <laughs> Does anybody know what I mean? If only we had smell a vision um, It smells really good and I will read to you what is in it when we get to that point. Next, I have a little bag. Again, with the sing song voice. Uh, you know what? I can't help myself. I'm going to stop trying to apologize for it. Oh, wow. This is really pretty. Okay, I'm shaking it out of its plastic. Look at this. Stunner! This has got to be like a treated. This has got to be like a treated quartz of some kind. Oh, you know what the artwork said? Angel Aura Quartz. I bet that's what this is. Angel Aura Quartz. Look at the flash. All the different colors. I just want to keep like showing it to you for a while. That is pretty, and it's actually like a little um, cluster, like a little. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a little cluster. Oh, that is so pretty. There's so many different colors. I feel like I could just stare at it and turn it over and over. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just staring at it and turning it over and over in my hands. Okay, I'm gonna put it away on its little baggie here. And that leaves leads us to the special box. So the Witch's Bounty, we always have a sacred adornment, which is typically a really fine, super unique pendant. And I am really, really excited to see what's in this month's box. So let's do this together. You ready? Okay, let's pull it in front of my face so it focuses. Oh, there's a tag in the way. Oh, I think that's more of the same stuff. Let me pull this out. Oh my gosh, you guys. First of all, can we talk about this turquoise inside of the box and how they're like formed to fit? Oh, anyway. I love that they have special little boxes, but Holy moly, look. I hope the camera is picking this up. Like I'm only looking at my viewfinder and I, it looks like it's, I don't know if it's getting all of those stunning colors. Look at all the green and blue and pink. I, think I just got a bit of the pink flash going. Oh my gosh. The backs are always, like these are always beautifully set. These are sterling silver, 0.925, so I can wear these. I just can't wear them like 24-7. I do have to ch change them out. Um, but they, that is beautiful. Oh, and there's a stone in the... Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. There's a stone in the little top part of the setting as well. It's red. So, I don't know what that is. Oh, these are so pretty. Okay. 
Okay, I have to I have to look at the I have to look at the paper now, but that is a beauty. I'm gonna take its little tag off. I've noticed that the US, I feel like in the US when they get these boxes, they don't have a little tag attached, or maybe they take them off. Maybe I'm just not doing this right. Um, but there it is without the tag in the way. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay. I am going to what are you eating, Shane? Are you eating your paws? Yeah? You chewing on your paws? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> She's such a grump. Alright, I'm gonna put this on the cord. And we'll see how it looks. This one is so pretty. Oh, look! Oh, that is gorgeous! What? Okay, it's it's kind of like touching my other one, so I have to I have to rearrange some things. But oh, that is so beautiful! It's just it's got this like light, bright energy. I had to separate those two words because I don't know if any of y'all remember in the '80s there was toy called a light bright. <laughs> I was like, if I say light bright, it's gonna come out funny. But it's got a very like airy, ethereal, yeah, let's see what it says about it. All right. Angel aura quartz with pink tourmaline pendant. Okay, so that's a pink tourmaline in the setting up top here. This beautiful angel aura quartz with pink tourmaline pendant has been custom created for this very collection. Set in point 925 silver, the aqua aura is placed within our open arms setting and carries with it an almost angelic aura. Also known as opal aura quartz, angel aura is a stone of expansion connecting us to the divine and collective cosmic consciousness. As an abundant earthly mineral, quartz is the ultimate amplifier of subtle energies. The shimmering aura provided by a platinum and silver coating aids in easily ac accessing spirit and transformative celestial energies. This stone activates the light body, brilliantly opening the gates of awareness, encouraging the integration of the higher self and attunement to one's spiritual purpose. As a wonderful companion, pink tourmaline has been set into the bale of this pendant. Also known as rubellite, pink tourmaline is one of the great facilitators of cognitive awareness. A very positive stone, pink tourmaline brings the energy of universal love into one's aura. Also a great stone to combat stagnant thinking. Pink tourmaline allows our intellectual and emotional perspectives perspectives to be broadened. This is so, so pretty. Are you kidding? Oh, I should be wearing like a darker outfit. It would show it off so much more. Oh, it's so beautiful. And let's read about the expansion magical oil. So I'll bring that in and just read what it says here. So this has been created with the intention of expanding your spiritual and emotional awareness. Let's see, this has got Rosemary, Ilong Ilong, and Rose, and also has a special mixture of our Celestial Being Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Um, they've also included a Lemurian Mini Quartz, uh, said to teach oneness and used to clear all the chakras. Ah, and then the incense is Forest Mist Ritual Incense. So this is Forest Mist, which had that really nice foresty smell. The Mini White Intention Candle. The Angel Aura Quartz, the little crystal that I got with this and then of course the angel aura quartz artwork this has been an absolutely stunning box I am so excited about this pendant this is really really gorgeous so I will link in the cards uh, last month so June's which is bounty so you can see what I got last month but I am so so pleased with this month do you get this box? If not, um, let me know down below what you think of it. If so, let me know what you think of it. I just said that weird, but hopefully you know where I was going with that. I would love your, your comments and your feedback if you are so inclined. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you all again in the next one. Talk to you later, guys. Bye!